go. So you guys, um, is it windy out? Why don't we just talk outside because there's no point in being inside when you can be outside. You guys, so to make a short story fast or short story long or long story short, we are doing turf wars at the fairgrounds in DL this summer. It is not going to be on the runway. This kind of wasn't even planned. We weren't going to do turf wars this year. So for those of you who don't know what turf wars is, we can double over some clips and I'll explain what it is. Me and my buddies, we wanted to host a drag racing event and that's exactly what we did. So it's a head to head double elimination drag racing event. On our runway, it was 500 feet. Here, it's going to be 350 feet and most drags that are ATV are only 300 feet, but we like to have them a little longer. Basically, it's an event just to see who's got the fastest toy hidden in the weeds, which I kind of like, and I know it's not me. So, um, guys, Turf Wars is June 4th. Mark your calendars. Pretty much the doors will open here as soon as it's June 4th. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, it's super cold right now. <laughs> Thank you for watching, enjoy the video. Turf Wars is June 4th. If you guys have anything that has wheels that is not a pickup, so a four-wheeler, a dirt bike, an ATV, a side-by-side, -side, three-wheeler, whatever it is. If you got wheels, we got a clash for you. Oh. The DRX is stuck. Give me a good day to rescue. No, dude, is that if you get stuck, we are so screwed. Yeah, I was thinking about that. I'm like, very much because, like, we're skinny stuck. You can't even wait for spring and like the snow to melt. Like, I'm stuck. You're just past that forever. <laughs> if it doesn't, oh boy. Well, it's been sitting there since last night, so. I mean, it could be worse. You could be driving something like a super lame. <laughs> like, I don't it know. Could look lame. Yeah, it could look lame and stuck rather than cool. D-bag ever, <laughs> not even him. How, I just don't understand how, fight, I don't understand how you got talked into this. I don't need that. I mean, you're the one who said yes. I just hope we're in and out, then you'll be happy, but if we're not. Dude, if I get stuck, we're really then Cody has to come with his, Cody's got this Hello. massive, massive payload or tree lifter thing that he said, well, call up Jake. If he gets stuck, then we'll have a day. <laughs> I hope it's not a day. I know the Broncos pretty good. So. Yeah, you already know Ken's got it warmed up. <laughs> no, no, he doesn't. <laughs> Ryan, I have a bunch of these. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we don't need that. So I have, I have three of these and then one big one in the back. You don't think this thing's gonna get stuck out there? I never said that. <laughs> <laughs> I, am, I do have faith in Ken though. You said you'd bring the Bronco out if I got stuck? Yeah. yeah you, you saved me last time. Yeah. The truck. <laughs> seems to be fun. Yeah, it seems to be holding up. Are you like sick in it? Are these tracks bought certified? Actually, they are. It says snow and dirt. Oh. I don't know about mud, but it says dirt. Well, this is a type of dirt. It's just wet. Yeah, that's wet dirt. Dude, I think we're going to pull you out no problem. Like, walk me right out of it. I just don't know how I'm going to get up. Check it. 
service four-wheel drive, service anti-lock brake system, service stability track, everything's fine. Jake, are your tracks loose? No, they're pretty tight. Why are you skipping? I think it's because you got 10,000 pounds of fucking brick on it. Yeah. Fucking take it. I got some All right, well, I guess we'll give it a yank. Get ready. I was waiting for that recovery hook just to rip out of the front end of that thing. It was, it was, I, was, I was literally had my eyes closed. I'm like, I'm hitting the windshield. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now I, we got a long ways to go still. <laughs> Smoking. Let's <laughs> up to my knee. That's a good. Ken's off. tall. So yeah, do you think I'll be able to drive out or think Jake's got to pull me the whole way? I think you just got to put her in freaking gear and low. send it, yeah. Nope. <laughs> Come on, Ryan! Stuck out here if you try. No, I don't think so either. You literally stopped in that. Well, wash party. Wash party. Wash party. Yeah, it wasn't supposed to get that dirty. It was, dude. You know who this looks like? Who? Dave. That's what I just said. I didn't hear that though. <laughs> uh, Quit it, I'm watching TV. I'm eating yogurt. Shut the fucking camera off. <laughs> Put that on my foot. <laughs> <laughs> we screwed up with the corn. We we were gonna have it there, so their head was this way. We hold the camera. Oh, like get out of here! God, you show me your setup. I'll show you my setup. Hold that to my setup. <laughs> Where'd my helmet go? Get that out of my face. <laughs> God, you're such a dick. <laughs> You guys left it there, you goofball. I, I found the helmet. Okay. Get that, honestly, get that out of my Put your face. helmet on. Put your fucking helmet on. And quit being a douche canoe. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Oh. Okay, so we're just going to make this quick. It's going to be a make or a break. But it takes a long time to sit downstairs in your basement. And it's kind of expensive because you basically gotta let the whole house get to like 30 degrees. You know, it's like adequate weather. Cause you know, if my dad goes outside from 80 degrees to 20 degrees, I could give him a heart attack. <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs>
such a prick. You know what? All over my shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> you were snoring earlier? Oh so I God. snuck all the way upstairs, got water. Then you woke up and I'm sitting on the stairs trying to sneak by you. Well, you know what? You ain't putting this on the fucking channel. Yeah. <laughs> 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 sick right now this hurts but this is pretty sick too I got a DS 450 uh, I went riding this weekend <laughs> my stomach hurts I just took a uh, 2,000 milligrams of acetaminophen Advil Advil I went to bed feeling great last night it's like I shouldn't even be alive oh this helmet is a crusty demon I cannot see I'm blind <laughs> you keep on knocking but you can't come in I'm not even sure about that. Their most requested video I get of all time is how do you do a wheelie? To do a how-to video on how to wheelie. How do you wheelie so good? Is it easier to wheelie on a four-wheeler or a dirt bike? Stop right there. You don't do wheelies on dirt bikes because dirt bikes aren't cool. No babes are gonna be watching you do a wheelie on a dirt bike and be like, oh my god, that guy's so cool. No, they're like, oh my god, I feel bad for that dude's girlfriend. He's riding a dirt bike. Step one, if you wanna look cool while you're wheeling, you gotta buy a quad, specifically a DS450 that's wrapped with banging decals and it's super sick. So that's like step one right there. And this also is a uh, three-step process on how to do a wheelie. Step two, turn off your filmer's car, dude, because gas is expensive. Step three, you're gonna need to drink an entire Canadian dry through this whole process. <sighs> step four. I thought you said there were only three steps. Step four, tell the cameraman to shut up and do his job because I'm the one making the content here and you're just supposed to be filming. Perfect, step five. If you have a girlfriend, this step is optional, but if you do have a girlfriend, step five is crucial. So you need to send her a super in-depth text that makes her sit there and think a while. Starbucks just opened in Cormorant. Don't text me back. Step six, you need camouflage gloves. You don't want to scare the four-wheeler where you're grabbing it because, you know, it's not just the handlebars. Like, you might have to grab elsewhere. Step eight, right? Step eight. You got to start your second ginger ale because now this is what is called the energizing can. And then when that one's done, <gasps> put your helmet on. Dude, do you know how to buckle a helmet? Ah! The technique, usually everyone's like, you know, lean back put your foot on the back brake just in case you go over backwards no we're not using the back brake everyone knows if you're grabbing the brake you're scared and you guys are not scared okay you guys will just cut that thing off because you're never going to be using it ever i didn't even know it was down there until just now when i look so i i have never used the back brake before <laughs> A nice little wheelie down here. So, if you notice that whole time I was uh, on the rev limiter, that's just like getting comfortable with throttle position. So, you're gonna wanna just have it pinned if it's just wide open the whole time you don't have to like oh do i have too much too little just keep it pinned that way you're worried about everything else going on in front of your you. girlfriend replied right so you're like oh man i gotta buy some more time what are you talking about you're so dumb you never make sense i'm pretty sure we should maybe think about seeing other people this is good okay so this is this is right where you want to be now now is when you you just got to keep feeding them stuff okay this might be kind of serious 
Uh, step 12, you now might be single, which is more time for wheeling, I guess. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all the steps, right? an example of showboating so like let's say there's some babes over there right and you want to look cool what you're going to do is you're going to want to come up to the uh canadian dry grab it take a jug throw on your foot combo and then right back to wheelie and like hey i acknowledge you guys but i respect your distance you know because you're all about wheelies right now but you want to let the babes know they're there so watching like and subscribe for more wheelie content um next week we'll get in on like combo tricks and stuff but um i enjoy this outro of all my tips and tricks and how you can wheelie like me thanks peace <laughs>